irregularities. We wanted voter scrutiny. We wanted registered scrutiny. We were denied all this. So we feel the people of Alcalao have been denied their rights. So this election was not fair. It was not free. It was not transparent. It was not credible. We have been assured earlier, after investing 250,000 and 25,000 shillings at the county level, that this will be a watertight uh, election. So when we look at what they have responded from the tribunal, they have been unfair. We don't feel there is any fairness in this party anymore. I think there are many hands that are biased extremely, and it's only good for me to go and consult the people of Alcalao so that they can give me the way forward. Well, what is the next step? Because we know that uh, the, the window for independent candidates, uh, of course, is closing on the 4th. What is your next step? Yeah, the first thing I've done is that I have immediately resigned from the party. And I have a resignation letter here with me because the, the party is not fair. It is not only fair to me, but even to the, to the voter. The voter has been denied his right to elect a leader whom they do believe would be able to lead them for the next five years. So I've resigned from the Jubilee Party. Tomorrow and the day after, I'll go around to Okalao constituency. I'll talk to the voters. I'll talk to the constituents. And I'll request them what they think should be the way forward. Once they advise me, then I'll be able to make an informed judgment. And from there, we can be able to go ahead. So most likely you might go as an independent candidate. Yes, if the voters tell me so, and which they have been telling me anyway, they have been telling me to go independent, I will seek independent and I will be able to go back and seek their mandate because it is their rights which have been inflicted. It is their right which have been denied because when the irregularities, like the stuffing of ballot papers, we found ballot papers ballot papers counted, exceeding the ballot papers listed in the counterfeit. So to me, that was outright, uh, uh, you know. Okay, we wish you all the best even as you contend for as an independent candidate. Well, Sophia, that is just one of the many aspirants who have decided uh, to ditch a Jubilee Party in terms of uh, feeling that uh, they've, they've been aggrieved and uh, what they've been pushing has not, uh, the verdict has not favored them. Uh, in the morning, we had uh, the senator for Muranga, Kembi Gitura, also tendering his resignation later as a member of the Jubilee Party. And from there, uh, he's uh, indicated that uh, he will be contesting for the Muranga senatorial seat as an independent candidate. And uh, as we continue waiting for different uh, verdicts to be given by the, uh, the, the disputes tribunal, of course, uh, the Jubilee Party uh, will have uh, to work around the clock on how they can avoid a fallout, especially in areas that they feel uh, that uh, they, are, they are strong or their strongholds. Remember, in Wasingishu County, we saw uh, Zedekia Buzeki, who was contesting uh, for the gubernatorial seat in Wasingishu County uh, against uh, the incumbent Jackson Mandago, uh, also tendering his resignation and uh, indicating that uh, he is ready uh, to go as an independent candidate so that uh, he can meet, uh, uh, that is, uh, Jackson Mandago at the ballot come 8th of August. And so from here, we'll just continue waiting uh, for uh, that uh, verdict at around 5 p.m., as promised by the Disputes Tribunal, hoping that uh, after that verdict, uh, it will all be peaceful uh, in terms of uh, aspirants from both sides. Uh, from outside, they can uh, spot a good number of uh, security officers uh, who have been uh, manning this uh, place just to ensure that uh, there are no skirmishes in regards uh, to the verdict that will be released uh, later this evening. Sophia. And Chris, before I let you go, of course the tribunal has had quite a number of disputes. Some have been dismissed. Do we know if they've announced for there to be any repeat exercises uh, for the disputes presented before them? So far, Sophia, by yesterday, they had dismissed at least 70 petitions out of 500 petitions that have already been uh, launched at the Disputes Tribunal. Uh, so far, uh, out of the 170 that they've dealt with, uh, they told us that uh, most of those uh, petitions, uh, they've just overruled them. And uh, it's only one uh, that they will be uh, at a repeat, and that is in Ainap Koi constituency, where uh, it will only be one polling center that will uh, be... Uh, uh, that a repeat of the, the, the elections will be conducted. Remember that uh, in Ainapkoi, Samuel Chepkonga uh, was floored uh, by a newcomer uh, in politics, and uh, he's the former PA uh, to 
former powerful um, cabinet minister uh, Nicholas Biwot. And uh, so after uh, that uh, uh, that uh, repeat of uh, that uh, the elections or that exercise in that polling station, and then that's when they're going to decide uh, uh, after tallying the votes then who uh, carries the day and who carries the jubilee ticket ahead of the 8th of August. Sophia. All right, many thanks, uh, Chris Thiru at the Jubilee headquarters, who will continue to stay put there and bring us updates as they come in, especially on that uh, decision and ruling set uh, for later on, I guess in about an hour and a half or so. Uh, they did indicate 5 p.m. is when they'd decide on the matter, pitting Jaguar against Commander. So we'll bring you those details once we have them. Now, from Gabon.